In a month, a task force created to come up with ideas to keep people from getting sick at the Cleveland County Fair will release its plan. Last year, more than 100 people were infected with E. coli and it even killed a two-year-old. New tonight at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Ken Lemon learned about some changes that visitors will see ahead of next month's announcement. No more petting zoos, right? Five-year-old Hannah Roberts approves of the idea to end petting zoos at the Cleveland County Fair. She's one of dozens of children hospitalized after being infected with E. coli at the fair last year. No amount of fun or, like I said, money or anything is worth seeing your child fight for their life. And so I'm very, very thrilled that there's going to be no more petting zoos. That is one of the changes decided by fair operators after more than 100 people were sickened with E. coli and one infant, Gage LaFevers, died. Tracy Roberts joined a class action lawsuit against the fair. That is really what this whole effort has been about, is to make sure that it never happens to another family. Last week, operators installed 12-inch drainage pipes at the fairgrounds to quickly drain runoff water. It can be done. And State officials decided that rainwater helped to spread E. coli last year. Members of the E. coli task force say they have more recommendations for changes at the fair. They plan to announce their findings in early June. I am very pleased with the steps they've already taken. Roberts hopes the new recommendations will make a difference. Fair operators here believe recommendations from that task force could become a standard for other fairs. They say recently an organization of fair operators from across the state met and talked at length about the E. coli task force and they're eagerly waiting to hear their suggestions. In Shelby, I'm Ken Lemon, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.